Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today I will be going over this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. For the full problem in the solution transcript, you can find a link in the description of this video um, to find both of those. So this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week was find x and y such that 75 to the base x is equal to 2016 to the base y. Um, to begin this, uh, the best way to start is to write out polynomials for these two expressions. So 75 in base x is 7 times x plus 5 times x to the zeroth power, which is just 1, so it's just plus 5. And 2016 base y is equal to 2 times y to the third. Uh, this is 0, so there's no y squared component. Plus y times 1, and plus 6 times y to the zeroth power. And what we're going to do is just set these two equal to each other again. So 7x plus 5 is equal to 2y cubed plus y plus 6. And we can just subtract 6 from both sides, and we get 7x minus 1 is equal to 2y cubed plus y. Now we can change this into um, a modular arithmetic uh, expression, like so. 2y cubed plus y is congruent to negative 1 mod 7. And all this is saying is that 2y cubed plus y is equal to a multiple of 7, 7x minus 1 all this is saying. And so now we have to find values of y such that this is true. And to do this, we are going to find the residue class of f of y, which is going to be 2y cubed plus y. If you don't know what a residue class is, you can check the solution transcript, uh, where I explain it a little bit. If you're wondering why we only have to check values of y from 0 to 6, you can also check the solution transcript where I show explicitly why you only need to check these values. So I'm going to fill out this chart right now, and I'll be back. All right, so this is the residue class of f of y. And so what this table shows is this is f of y. And then we break it up into a multiple of 7 plus an integer between 0 and 6. And so f of y mod 7 will just be that integer. And we get this. <clears throat> and what we're doing is we're trying to find a value of, of y, or a set of values of y, such that f of y is congruent to negative 1 mod 7. There's only one way to do that, and that is if y is equal to seven, a multiple of 7 plus 4. So n is just an integer. And now that we have this, we have to find the corresponding uh, x values. So we go back to uh, the original equation, which I'll write again. So 7x plus 5. And we have 2. And we'll plug in this for y. And plug it in for y again. OK, 
Okay, so I will simplify this and we will get an expression for the set of values of x. Okay, and this is um, the expression to find x. And so since n is just any integer, we can actually find infinitely many pairs of x and y such that this expression is true. So we'll just pick 1. So we'll just say n is equal to 1. And we have x is equal to 382. And y is just equal to 11. And so we found that 75 base 382 is equal to 216 base 11, which are two pretty useless bases, but, um, and this is equal to 2,679 base 10, which is the base we use. And that is it for this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. To see more videos like this, you can check out our playlist here. To subscribe to our channel, you can click here. To visit our website, centerofmath.org, you can click here. And to get all these links, if you're on a mobile device, you can hit the I in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Thank you.